Good morning. Welcome to the WCCE Morning News Show. My name is Cole Otavio, and I will be your anchors for today, Tuesday, October 11th, 2022. Here's Otavio with the weather. The current temperature in Lake Wiley, South Carolina is 50 degrees. Today's high is 72 degrees. The low for tonight is 58 degrees. Forecast for today is partly sunny and nice. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute to the flag of South Carolina and pledge to the Palmetto State, love, loyalty, and faith. At Crowder's Creek, we pledge to seek smart solutions, be on board with learning, act responsibly, and respect others. And now for a moment of silence. Today for lunch, we will have mozzarella sticks or ham and cheese pinwheels. Mr. Thomas, Ms. Hamilton, Mr. Taos, and Mr. Palmer would like to wish a happy birthday to Zoe Hogue and Kenley Holler. Please see your teacher for a birthday pencil. Today's winners of the Book Machine Token are in Ms. Klusman's kindergarten class, Abel Atencio, and Ms. Rodman's fifth grade class, Nicholas Anginelli. Congratulations to those students. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching the WCC Morning News Show. Stay tuned for a special announcement from Boosterthon. Have a great day. Good morning, Crowders Creek Elementary students. This is your principal, Mr. Thomas, with your Booster Thon update. So far, we have raised $41,854, and we are so close to our goal of $50,000. So keep getting those donations. Tonight's nightly challenge is the 50 States Challenge. If we get a donation from all 50 states, then you will see me having a silly string fight with somebody of my choosing. So make sure that you get those donations in so we can have that silly string party. Have a great day. Good morning, students. You know how we're gonna get started with that Grandland Adventure Cheer, but today I wanna see you do it as fast as you can. So get ready, warm up the arms, get the wiggles out on the count of three. Ready, one, two, three, Grand Land Adventure. Wow, that was so fast. Okay, today guys, we're gonna tune in and learn all about grit and perseverance, which is going without giving up. So, excited to see how you guys are gonna persevere this week and maybe next week at your fun run. All right, friends, remember, we have a school goal of reaching $50,000 for school beautification and recess equipment. So, let's see how you're doing in helping your school. If you're ready, point to the screen and say, I'm ready. Great job, students. We'll see you tomorrow, but for now, this is Booster out. Did you know Zion National Park has one of the scariest hikes in the world? Of course. Why do you think they call it Angel's Landing? Wait, I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, I'm terrified, but it doesn't mean a guy can't dream. Millions of years ago, when dinosaurs still roamed the earth, the Virgin River started wreaking havoc on southwestern Utah. Today, the canyons and cliffs it left behind form one of the most incredible places on Earth, Zion National Park. Each year, over four million visitors come to explore the park's gorgeous sandstone cliffs, narrow slot canyons, and cascading waterfalls. For over 6,000 years, small groups of Native Americans lived in the area, including the Southern Paiute tribe. As early Americans began settling in the region, President William Howard Taft named the area a national monument to protect the canyon. In 1919, Congress redesignated the area as Zion National Park. The word Zion is ancient Hebrew for sanctuary or refuge. One of the things that makes Zion so unique and so unforgettable is its slot canyons. Slot canyons are slim gorges often found in soft layered rock. They're named for their narrow width often squeezing down to a sliver, and the colors are dazzling. And there's no better slot canyon in the world than the Narrows, one of the most popular areas in Zion. 
To hike the Narrows, you have to actually walk through the Virgin River, and some of those rocks are slippery. In some places, the walls are less than 20 feet apart, yet rise more than 2,000 feet. Whether you're scaling the sheer cliffs of Angel's Landing or trudging through the Virgin River in the Narrows, it takes grit to keep going in a place like this. So, what character trait does this park have to teach us? Well, what trait do you think Zion has to teach us? Always bring an extra pair of socks? <laughs> Grandpa said Zion brings something out of you. It takes grit to explore. I think Grandpa learned perseverance. Huh? Perseverance is about not giving up, even when things get tough. It's about having the grit to keep going even when you feel like quitting. Exactly. So whether it is tackling a new subject or a new sport or forming a friendship, it takes perseverance to succeed in life. The next time you feel tempted to quit something, challenge yourself to keep going. So Zion taught Grandpa how to live with perseverance. Cool. I can smell the treasure. We're getting close. I wonder what park we get to visit next. <laughs>